Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video here to give you my review of NJPW G1 Climax 28 Day 8, uh, July 26, 2018. Um, man, what a what a great three day break I had, man. Um, and by break I mean you know going to the movies, etc., doing my MCU rankings so far. Um, cause um, you know uh. Because uh, the G1 uh, took a couple days break. It took like a three day break. You return tonight. And, uh, you know, I, I did see Incredibles 2 um, along with Bow before the movie started. And I also saw Ant Man the Wasp, the latest MCU film, which I included in my MCU ranking. Um, so, uh, you know that now. Um, so, uh, so that's awesome, right? Um, and, you know, I was, you know it, was a, it was a really awesome rest. You know, I felt real, I felt real good going into the show, you know, like, I, I didn't really feel like, uh, I really don't want to review this type of feeling, you know, so that's good, right, um, so, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, G1 28 tonight, uh, I will admit, I did, uh, I actually did have a sleep, so, uh, I did, uh, miss a little bit of the show, so I did catch up on it a little bit, uh, I didn't, like, cat. I didn't, like, you know, I, I did have to catch up a bit, like, when I woke up, like, uh, so, yeah, um, so, that's, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, um, you know, these ratings, remember, are just my opinion, and, um, so, uh, I'm not sure what everyone else thinks right now, uh, I'm just saying it like it is, you know, if I don't, if people think I didn't rate a certain match as high as I should have, I'm sorry, okay, but just also remember, I'm a little bit disinterested in wrestling as a whole right now, like, I'm, like, I'm starting to get over it, you know, but I'm still, you know, watching these shows to review for you guys here on YouTube, so, uh, my star ratings for all the matches are in the description, by the way, so, um, you know, if you wanna, you know, if you don't wanna, uh, watch the whole thing, you know, if you just wanna know star ratings, you know, which most people on here is just star ratings nowadays, um, which is not, which, which isn't a bad thing, by the way, just, but, like, I feel like I'm one of the few people who still reviews, uh, wrestling shows, uh, like this, you know, like, with talking, you know, and star ratings, I think only, uh, Zach Brown, and, uh, what's the other guy's name, uh, Sanders Robin 24 one of my favorite YouTubers, um, like, I, th I feel like pretty much us three are, like, the only ones who still review shows like that. Which, uh... I'm sure, I'm sure there's others out there who still do it like that. Like me as well, of course, and... But, uh... I really missed the reviews like this, honestly. Like... But, whatever. Anyway, um... We're gonna review the tag matches first. Then we'll review the G1... B block matches, so stay tuned. Uh, first match we have Suzuki Gun consisting of Minoru Suzuki and Al Desperado versus Michael Logan and Rin Narita. This was a pretty good match. I really enjoyed this match. Uh, we'll just skip to the end. Uh, Michael Elkin and Rin Narita actually got the win. Um, when I think Rin Narita, uh, was it Rin Narita? Or, no, it was Michael Elgin, I think, um, who was holding Suzuki back. On the outside, you know, so he couldn't break up the pin. Suzuki was pissed, man. <laughs> and it was kind of funny seeing, like, something like that happen to Suzuki. So, um, yeah. Um, so that was a pretty good match right there. And then we go on to Los, uh, L-I-D-J. Let's just call them L-I-D-J. I, I'd never be able to pronounce these this name right. Consisting of Evil and Bushi versus Bullet Club Elite. Consisting of Hangman Page and Chase Owens. Uh, pretty good match, uh, just like the opener, uh, I believe, um, I believe, uh, I believe Evil and Bushi got the win, and I'm pretty sure, I, I'm 98% sure that Chase Owens was involved in the finish, I think he took the pin, you know, uh, not trying to make him feel embarrassed if he happens to listen to this, because I do like and respect Chase Owens, but yeah, uh, but uh, then we get on to next match. Uh, we have Chaos consisting of Jay White and Yo versus Bullet Club OG consisting of Bad Luck Fale and Tangaloa. Uh, a good match right here. Um, you know, maybe the weakest of the first three matches. Uh, tag matches, obviously. Um, ending 
Like, it's a Jay White tag match in the G1. Like, how, why would you expect it to end any different? Jay White let his partner Yo take the pin, you know, without saving him. I think, I think, uh, I think Bad Luck Fale was, um, was, uh, blocking the thing so that, uh, so that he couldn't get in to, uh, break up the pin. But I don't think Jay White had any plans to break it up anyway, you know. Because, you know, that's what he's like in his tag matches if uh, you guys have been watching, you know, if you, you know. But then we have the next match, the final tag match of tonight. We have Chaos consisting of Kazuchika Okada and Gato versus Chaos consisting of Sho and Yoshihashi. Um, another pretty good match, sort of match. Uh, I'm struggling to remember who won this one. I believe it was... Uh, I'm, I, I think, I'm, I know that Gator was involved in the finish, but I'm struggling to remember if he took the pin or if he made the pin, because I really don't remember. I think uh, Sho and Yoshihashi actually won. I, I do think so, um, but I could be wrong on that. I apologize if I am. But then we go on to the, uh, what, what do we call them? Um, the G1 matches, B Block, 28. Uh, we have the first match, and this was funny, actually. Hiroki Goto versus Toriyanu. If memory serves me correctly, I think this match only lasted like three minutes. And Goto got the win easily over Toriyanu. That was pretty crazy and funny. Like, I think that's the first of this kind of match in this tournament so far. I'm not sure if we'll see it again. If we do see it again, it will most likely be for Toriyanu. Uh, exclusively, which, uh, poor guy, <laughs> um, I'm just saying, you know, but, uh, that was, a, that was pretty cool right there, um, that's, I'm pretty sure it was like that, um, Goto just getting the win, like, immediately, then we have, uh, Tetsuya Naito versus Tomatonga, this was another pretty awesome match, guys, uh, it was shenanigans all around, and honestly, I do really enjoy shenanigans and matches, not all the time, but here, now, I'll make another exception. It was pretty funny. Uh, like, yeah, Tama Tonga with Tonga Law in his corner cheating for him. And Tama Tonga was just, you know, trying to cheat, cheat, cheat. It's all of his matches. All of his matches that he does with his friends. It's just cheat, 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 cheat. All the matches with his enemies. He's just trying to cheat the whole time. And uh, he tried it again. He tried it again tonight. Tetsuya Naito and Tama Tonga. Tetsuya Naito had friends of his coming to save him, of course, from those trying to interfere. And uh, Tamatonga kicked uh, Naito in the nuts. Naito kicked him back in the nuts. And it was just trying to get each other's finishes on each other. Ultimately, Tetsuya Naito landed the, uh, the, the, the Destino onto Tamatonga for the 1-2-3. So, pretty awesome match. Not like a four-star plus match, maybe, or anything. I don't know. Maybe other people think that, but I, I think it's a really pretty awesome match still. A really fun match, especially with the shenanigans, the interferences. Um, so, uh, congrats to Naito for that. So, yeah. Then we have the next match, uh, G1 Climax 28 match, obviously. Tomohiro, Tomo, Tomohiro Ishii versus Zack Sabre Jr., this match, I don't know what you guys are going to think of this match, but I thought this match was awesome, honestly. Uh, I thought it was awesome, phenomenal technical wrestling, just great stuff all around. I was really, I was just really into this match from beginning to end. It was awesome technical wrestling. It was, it was Zack Sabre Jr., okay? So you know you're going to get great technical wrestling. It was Ishii. Ishii pulled out some awesome technical wrestling as well, and in the end... Uh, I was actually surprised personally. Uh, Tomohiro Ishii wasn't who I would expect uh, to be to, to lose to by submission as well. To because uh, he's such a strong guy, you know. To uh, Zack Saber Jr., you know. I guess size really doesn't matter, you know. But that was an awesome match. Good good job to both guys on that match, and I really enjoyed it. Um, like I really thought it was pretty. I thought it was awesome, honestly. Um, I really loved every bit of it. Anyway, the next match, Juice Robinson versus Kenny Omega. This match was really dang. This was this match was pretty awesome, honestly. All right, I'll be I'll be completely honest with you guys. 
I think uh, I finally got over the San Francisco stuff with Juice Robinson. So now I, I think I'm able to enjoy his matches without getting pissed off now. Um, so I didn't really care too much in one here. But uh, this like it was this match where I watched the rest of the show live. Um, like pretty much. Um, you know, because uh, you know, I did tell you I had to catch up on the other matches. Um, but this match was really all good. Like this was this match was borderline. Four stars, in my opinion. A lot of people thought this match could have been better. Maybe it could have. But for what it was, I really enjoyed it, honestly. It was a lot of fun. You had Omega and... It's, it's, it's Kenny Omega, you know? And Juice Robinson's a solid wrestler in himself. And this match was pretty fun to watch, I thought. I was really into it from beginning to end, basically. And, uh... And, uh... You know, it was just awesome stuff from beginning to end. And in the end... We had uh, Kenny Omega's winning streak continue, and Juice Robinson's losing streak continue as well. So, yeah, uh, so Kenny Omega wins, uh, good stuff. Um, but, you know, then we get on to the phenomenal main event. Uh, I mean, uh, we have we have G1 Climax 20, a B-block match. The main event of tonight, of course, we have Sonata versus Kota Bushi. This match was absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion. It was just non-stop action. Uh, well, maybe not from, from start to finish, because obviously, you know, when you're wrestling for so long, you, you'll need rest periods, and wrestlers will need rest periods, but this match, I thought, was absolutely tremendous. It was amazing, man. Um, I really love this match, this main event. Kota Bushi, just pulling off amazing stuff, as always. Sonata, I love Sonata, man. Sonata is like one of my guys to look out for in um, th this tournament, honestly, because he's just a lot of fun to watch, in my opinion. I honestly prefer him over Evil. Uh, no disrespect to Evil, I do like Evil as well, but Sonata, man, is just so much fun. You heard Bushi, a lot of near falls, especially near the end. Like, you you didn't know who was going to win. You didn't know, um, you didn't know who was going to win. You didn't know, uh, Who's gonna lose? I don't know. This match was tremendous, in my opinion. I just, I, I think you guys should just watch it for yourself. Uh, I thought it was absolutely amazing. This is honestly my second favorite match of the G1 uh, 28 tournament so far. Well, my second favorite match. I think I said that. Um, first is uh, Naito and Omega. Obviously, I, I, don't, I don't know if that will ever be topped in this tournament. It's gonna take one freaking incredible match to top that. That's for sure. But uh, overall, uh, great show tonight, I thought. Um, good job to all these wrestlers. Uh, this is the most into uh, New Japan I've been, you know, since the break. It's it's a lot better when you have, a, like, a three-day break instead of reviewing um, the G1 shows, like, every single day. I do, I, I will admit, if you do watch my day um, uh, four, five, six, seven reviews, uh, you could tell I was a bit disinterested, like, the more the shows went on, because, um, because it was just too much wrestling for me, personally, I still went out to watch and review them, of, of course, for you guys, but, you know, like, this break, I think, made me, uh, feel better about it, I mean, we, we're gonna do this all over again tomorrow, and the day after, uh, which, uh, which hopefully I won't lose interest, um, as much, but, uh, then, then we get another couple days break, I believe, uh, so, yeah, uh, but that's my, uh, review of the, of day eight of the 28 G1 Climax, New Japan Pro Wrestling, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed, if, comment your thoughts below, if we have a different opinion, that's all good, so, yeah, uh, that's my review, guys, see you tomorrow, um, for the, for day nine, and peace out, guys, see you later.